Antonio Ernesto Alvarado, who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2019 CR 7587 for the offense of burglary of a habitation with intent to commit assault on January 16, 2020 for a term of four years. Is that you? Yes, ma'am. State? In Bear County, Texas, the defendant, Antonio Ernesto Alvarado, did then and there fail to report to the supervision officer as directed for the months of December 2020 and January 2021 in violation of condition number five. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True. State? Um, Your Honor, we waive the rest of the. Any objections to the state's waivers? No objections, Your Honor. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number five, the court could find it true, grant the motion, find you guilty, and sentence you up to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine? Yes. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number five? What did you report? I, I, man, I, I did now, here's the thing. Yes, sir. And, and, and counsel, I'm so sorry. I don't have a trial court certification of defendant's okay. rights to appeal completed. True. Yes, ma'am. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Off the record. Uh, could you get a trial court certification of defendant's rights to appeal? That's okay. And we're off the record. So let me explain something to you. This is how motions to revoke work. Somebody is on probation. The state and probation is stating that they didn't do certain things. Okay. Sometimes it's you didn't report. Sometimes it's you're using drugs. Sometimes you're not doing classes that are ordered. Do you understand that? Okay. Now, sometimes people will plead true. Now, once you plead true to a violation, I have to let you know what the range of punishment is. So in your case, the range of punishment is up to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. If you have some sort of agreement with the state, that's an agreement that you and your attorney have decided to uh, enter into, but the court does not have to follow that agreement because you do not have a contract with the state. You do not have a contract with your attorney. You have a contract with the court. Now, sometimes people will plead true. Maybe they'll plead true to not reporting. They'll say, all right, it's true, but I have an explanation. I have a reason why I didn't report. Somebody may say, I didn't report. I was in a coma at the hospital. And they bring documentation that they were in the coma at the hospital. Does that mean that it's not true? No, it's true. They didn't report. They just have a reason for not reporting. Do you understand? Yes. And do you understand if you've reached an agreement with the state, I don't have to follow that agreement. Do you understand? No. So I could send it to you up to 20 years in prison. Do you understand? No. All right, we're going to go back on the record. So, Mr. Alvarado, you entered a plea of true to violation of condition number five. Is that correct? No. Listen to me. You entered a plea of true to violation of condition number five. Is that correct? Yes or no? Yes. All right. Did you understand by pleading true to violation of condition number five, I can revoke you, find you guilty, and send you to prison for up to 20 years? Did you understand? And did you understand that I could send it to you also up to a $10,000 fine? All right, you need to stop whispering. You yes, need to speak up yes. so that the court reporter can hear. Yes, ma'am. All right, do you understand all of that? Yes, ma'am. Knowing that, do you still wish to plead true to violation of condition number five? Yes, ma'am. Court will find violation of condition number five true. Is there a proposed agreement? There is not, yet. All right, state, what are you requesting? Then we are asking that his probation be revoked. All right, defense, what are you requesting? Judge, we're asking that you extend his probation for a year, let him complete the programs that, that uh, he needs to do family violence and the other program on parenting class. He, he has a place to live. Um, he didn't, he, he failed to report. I told him he, he, he needs to report in the future and follow real rules. He said he'll do that. All right, so here's the question. Why is he not reporting? You want to just, you want to- I don't think he has a reason. All right, is there something you want to tell me? Oh, uh, during, during this oh, time- Wait a second. You want to raise your right hand? 
Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you, God. Yes, sir. All right, you can lower your hand, state your name for the record. My name is Antonio Alvarado. All right, why were you not reporting? To be honest, man, I mean, it was, I, I had caught COVID. It was during 2020, I caught COVID. Not only that, but after that, um, So you're saying, let me that. wait. So you're saying in June 2020, you caught COVID? Yes. All right. So how long did COVID last for you? It didn't last that long. It lasted only a couple of weeks. All it's right. Not. So that's June 2020. You caught COVID. So July, did you report to probation? No, ma'am. August? No, ma'am. September? No, ma'am. October? No, ma'am. November? No, ma'am. December? No, ma'am. January? No, ma'am. Have you reported since 2020? No, ma'am. I have not. All right. I have no excuse, ma'am. I'm sorry. I have no excuse. I just know that I've worked. I had my children and, and I had... I had a lot of bills and everything that life had accumulated on me. Um, started working and I just put it on the back burner because I had child support to do. I had a career that I had a job that I figured was going to help me get out of my situation. And it didn't because the economy got worse. And then I figured, you know what, let me do this. Let me go into uh, HVAC program so that way I can not only better myself, but better Pay everything that I owe and try to get my license back. And I actually, and with me not reporting, I put this in the back burner, which I should not have. I should no, have. I don't, here's my, my question for you. This is just a question I, I ask. You know, if you have an answer, great. If you don't, you don't. Yes, Why do you think that you can be on probation and just forget about it? I should not have thought like that. No, I mean, it's it's like, why do you think that's the case? That, okay. I know I committed a burglary of a habitation with an assault. That's what you did. Yes, ma'am. So a burglary of a habitation with intent to commit assault, that, that means that you're going into someone's home without permission and you are assaulting them. Yes, you're beating them up. Yes, ma'am. So why do you think that you can be on probation for that, then not do what was required of you and just go on with living your life as though this does not exist and you don't owe the government the Bear County, the citizens of Bear County, the completion of your probation. Because that's what happened with my ex and we and my ex were have been trying to get back together at that time too. Oh, so you and Maria Alvarado have been trying to get back together? At that time. All right. So during this time, you all have been communicating while you've been on probation? Yes, ma'am. All right. And part of your conditions of probation? And not communicate. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And I apologize about that. No, no, no. You could communicate with her according to your conditions. I think it's no harm for injurious contact. But yeah. All right. Any other questions? I think he, hopefully he learned a lesson. He can move forward, follow your instructions. Yes, ma'am. All right, the court is going to grant the motion, find you guilty, and the court will revoke. State, how much time are you requesting? We're requesting four years, Your Honor. Defense, what are you requesting? One year, Your Honor. Uh, two to ten. Two to two. Years. Okay. <coughs> probation, has he done anything on probation? No, All right. So you've done nothing on probation? No, I so the state honestly is being generous by asking for four years. What I can tell you is I would have given you six, but the state is offering uh, you four. I'm gonna go along with their request because maybe they have more contact. Well, I know they would have more contact with the complainant than I do. So the court is finding you guilty. The court Whisper. is gonna revoke. The court is gonna sentence you to six years in the prison, give you credit for any time served. There's an affirmative finding of family violence. All right, did you review the document entitled uh, Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it? 
All right, you have a limited right to appeal. That right to appeal is as it relates to the allegations in the motion, not the fact that you were on deferred adjudication. Because this is an affirmative finding of family violence, and also because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Four. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we can go off the record. When you have obligations, you got to answer for those obligations. You can't pretend as though they don't exist. You understand? Yes, All right, good luck to you.